No, this is not happening. This is not... This is not possible. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka okay, Hashtips and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to play around with Dolly. So for those of you who do not know what Dolly is, it's basically AI that can generate art. It's absolutely phenomenal. I've seen it all around the internet and I finally have the chance to try it for myself. I have subscribed to the, you know, program and I finally received my invite. So today we are going to experiment and create some AI art. This is the dashboard that we're going to be playing around with today. And we have to remember that this is so amazing because apparently with Dolly, you can create artworks just from text. You can make targeted edits from a photo or live artwork. And you can also tell it to kind of make something similar to an original artwork. And we are going to try all these options today and see what it can do. I guess over here you can already see some of the examples that people have created with Dolly. Here on the dashboard I can see we can give it a phrase. Now I did come somewhat prepared. I've managed to come up with these three sentences, each one varying in difficulty, I would say. And I want to see if we can generate some artwork with these. I also have an image folder with an image of myself as well as a shoe artwork that I've done before. And I want to see if we can use this in some way. So let's go ahead and try this first phrase and see what comes out. So our first sentence, a cat sitting in front of a television. Let's generate and see what happens. Man, this should be good. I really, really hope that we are impressed right now. We will give it some time and then check. I am blown away. This is phenomenal. Now, I, I don't know how to explain this. These are not images that's been taken around the world and then, you know, magically just gathered here. This is actually AI constructing the image. It's not an artwork. It looks like a photo, but it's amazing. It's amazing that it knows how to compose this. It's a cat sitting in front of a television. And what's even crazy is that I say television. And to me, this is a representation of a television, right? Not an LCD big flat screen, right? Um, I don't know. For some reason, this is exactly what I anticipated. And um, I thought it was going to look more artish, but wow. This is amazing. Just imagine the applications that this could have. Imagine real time, I don't know, adverts from what people say that just gets generated. This is phenomenal. So what I'm going to check now is, okay, I've got 49 credits left. That's actually good. It only took one credit because I started off with 50 free credits that Dali provided uh, for this. So this is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and try the second phrase. Now, our second phrase is a man running down the street with lightning all around him. It tells us that longer specific descriptions, you know, tend to work best. But I think this is long enough. So let's try it out. I'm going to hit generate and let's see. Oh, man, absolutely no freaking way. This is crazy. It's a man running down the street with lightning all around him. And this is generated on the fly. This is absolutely mind blowing. Man, this is, this is mind blowing. I want to see the next one. I, I want to see the next one of this lady reading a book uh, before she goes to, to bed. But this is exactly, I mean, check it out. You've got, this one is my favorite one. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's do, she loves reading books before she goes to sleep. Now, this is way more suggestive, right? It's more a statement than a descriptive sentence. So let's generate this and see. So I usually pause the video and then wait, but I'll show you how long it takes. It doesn't take too long, but I would like to make these videos a bit more snappy and not as elongated <laughs> or long so to speak so um i'll show you the full process and how long it takes it's, it's not that long so here we go she loves reading books before she goes to sleep 
Now, this is a representation of a girl, you know, right before she sleeps, reading a book. What is scary to me is the fact that you can kind of see that the book is edited in there. Like, you can see this sharp edge. So, it definitely is creating this. And I don't even know if, if it's creating the, the actual faces because you can see the eyes and the mouth. It's definitely creating it, right? Scary, scary stuff. To tell you the truth, I've been absolutely freaked out at this point by how realistic the Dolly software can replicate something just by natural language, right? It's scary. But now we're going to try something different. I'm going to upload an image. So I'm going to first try myself, my face, right? And here we go. Let's see what what we need to abide by. Okay, so we basically need to be aware that we can't upload people's photos without consent. This is my own photo, so that's probably fine. I give my consent. Uh, images might be, you know, used in their data to update their model, blah, blah, blah. I think it's fine. So let's continue. Uh, this is the image that I want to use. So correct. So now I have two options. I can generate variations or edit the image. I think let's go and generate a variation first. Let us see what Dolly comes up with, um, what variations we're going to get. This should be very exciting. Um, I've got no idea. You know, we didn't give it any anything. Okay, so it says uploads with realistic faces are not allowed. Well, first of all, the fact that it knows it's a realistic face, that's pretty powerful in itself, right? So I'll give it to them. We'll, we'll try this again. Um, let's go and upload an image, but this time choose the, the shoe. I am going to include this in the video so you can actually see uh, what it's doing. So I'm going to generate variations of the shoe. I am absolutely lost for words at this point. There is no way that people cannot deny that AI is totally scary at this point. And you know why? And the reason is because this artwork that I've made is purely from my own drawing. I drew this shoe and I placed it on a yellow background and Dolly was able to take this and actually make a colorful, you know, retro shoe that looks kind of the same on a yellow background. It doesn't even know that it's a shoe, right? It doesn't even know that. It just did the exact same thing. It's phenomenal. There's no outer bound edges. It's purely a shoe on a yellow background. This is really, really powerful. And at this point, I just want to tell the Dolly developers that, man, you guys have created something phenomenal. At, and I cannot wait. I think we should try another one. The next image that I'm going to use is also an artwork. And it looks like this. It's a man sleeping with kind of a bit of clown makeup on with a butterfly on a cushion. But as you can see, this is my hand-drawn artwork. So I'll be blown away if we even get something merely close here because this isn't a shoe that's quite uh, common, right? Um, so let, let's see. Let's say create variations. No, this is not happening. This is not, this is not possible. Well, it is. It's here, but it's, this is crazy. I'm not someone that freaks out about stuff like this, but this is worth the freak out. Okay, let's relax a little bit here and uh, just look at the situation. Uh, we have a man, you know, covered halfway in the bed, just waking up. The variations that was created with the butterfly, with the man laying with his mouth open, waking up. This is going to be the thumbnail. I'm going to put this as the thumbnail and name it AI Stole My Art. Not technically, but, you know, it would make a great thumbnail. This is just so exciting. Uh, we have to try one more. How much credits do we have left? 45. That is perfect. Let's upload an image and let's take this shoe this time. 
let's select edit. Before I edit the shoe, I would love for everyone here who has been enjoying the content today to give this video a big thumbs up and comment below and share it, right? It does really help me with the YouTube algorithm to get these videos out there. Plus, I really want this to happen for this video because Dali, they deserve the credit for this. They've made something phenomenal. So let's give them that recognition and also let me know what you want to see next and uh, what I need to play around with. So I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I'm just going to maybe do this. We've covered the whole shoe now, so I don't know how well this will work, but let's give it an explanation. Let's do a, a golden shoe. How about that? We'll try a golden shoe. I have no idea how this editing software works or what I can expect from it, but it would be great if we can have a golden shoe. And once again, be careful what you wish for because Dali will get it right. Um, yeah, we've got a golden shoe. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. So cheers for now.